Welcome to Magic's Video Easy. The scene overview shows all of the scenes in your movie one after the other. You can change the sequence of your scenes by holding the left mouse button down and dragging a scene to the correct position. The delete key deletes the scene again. A transition or fade can be added to any scene. Simply click on the fade icon between two scenes. Select between the most important fade types here. Press OK to apply the current settings to the selected scene. For all of the following, also applies the settings to all of the following scenes. Clearly laid out program interface and large buttons allow for quick and easy video editing. You can improve the appearance and audio in your scenes, add a title, or load photos, music or videos. If you would like to load several files simultaneously, first click on all the files one by one while holding the control key down and then confirm your selection with Open. You will find all of the export options available in Video Easy under Finish Movie. You can cut any scene at the position marker. To do so, simply click the scissors icon below the video monitor. The length of any scene can be adjusted using the handles on the right and left. To change the beginning of the selected scene, drag the handle at the outer left end of the playback bar to the right with the mouse until you reach the position where the scene should begin. To change the end of the scene, drag the handle at the outer right end to the left accordingly. If you click the play button below the video monitor, the project will be played back. By the way, it is quicker to start and stop playback using the spacebar on your keyboard. Connect the switched off AVCHD camera to your PC's USB connection. Now switch the AVCHD camera's operating mode to playback. If your camera is not automatically detected, select it here. Then click on Continue. All of the clips on the camera will now be shown in the overview. Select the desired clip and confirm your selection with Transfer Video Clips. You can see the transferred clip in the Miniature Viewer. Repeat the process until you have transferred all of the clips that you want. You can view the transferred material at any time. or delete individual clips. Start Video Editing will put all of the video recordings in the Scene Overview. A DV recording requires a DV camera and a FireWire connection. Connect the switched off DV camera to your PC's FireWire connection. Switch your DV camera's operating mode to playback. Using camera controls, you can find the appropriate location on the camera's tape. Wind forwards, backwards and start playback as required.
Now begin the transfer by pressing record. Stop ends the recording. You can now see the recorded clips in the miniature viewer. Repeat the process until you have transferred your entire video. You can view the transferred material at any time or delete individual clips. It's as easy as 123 to add and edit background music in Video Easy. Once the music is loaded, it appears in the scene overview. The length and volume can now be edited. To add additional music tracks, right-click on the existing music track and select Music Track Before or Add Music Track After. Pushing two music tracks into each other blends them softly into each other. Additional transition types can be selected by clicking on the fade icon. The music track can be deleted simply by right-clicking on it and selecting the Delete Music option in the menu. First, connect your microphone to your PC. To record audio commentary, click on the corresponding button in the Audio area. If you have a microphone directly connected to the sound card, select the Recording Level option on the audio driver. Begin recording by clicking on the red Record button. The Stop button ends the recording. After the commentary has loaded up, it will appear in the scene overview beneath the background music. You can improve the image and sound in any scene. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast, which means the ratio of dark and light areas in the video, and the color intensity in this way. Change the speed or play the video clip backwards. For example, if your video recordings have a blue tint, you can simply correct the color using the practical color wheel. Specify the appropriate ratios for subject, background noise and audio commentary. Clicking Reset will restore the original image and volume. To add text fades to your movie, click the Text button. Enter your text here and adjust the font, size and color as required. You can move the text to the correct position using the arrow keys.
You can also add shadows or a frame to your text. Change the display duration or let it smoothly fade in and out. Just give it a try. Click Delete to remove the title fade again. To add life to your movies, Video Easy has a multitude of effect templates. Turn your video into a black and white movie or add fully automatic zooms and tracking shots. Give the effect templates a try one by one. You will find all export options listed here. You can archive an existing project, save it as a video file on your PC, present it online, or transfer to external devices, or simply burn it to a video disk. If you used high-resolution video material, you should opt for AVC HD or Blu-ray discs. To play your movie on a conventional DVD player, select DVD. Now select a suitable menu template. When you are satisfied with the selected menu, place a blank disk in your burner and click Burn. Finally, check to make sure that the correct burner is set up and make sure that the amount of film material is not more than can be saved on the disk. Click on the Burn icon to start the burning process. Have fun with your videos. The Magix Team.